Dubai can be a polarizing city. On one hand, it offers amazing lifestyle with complete safety, zero crime, and a polished, growing, and exciting environment to build yourself, your life, and your business. But on the other hand, a lot of people still have negative or incorrect ideas about Dubai. They think you have no freedom. They think it's always too hot. They think it's this fake city with no real people in it, where all you see is fake posers revving their Lambo engines. And while there are of course valid criticisms that can be made about any place, in this video, I want to dispel five ideas that people have about Dubai that I think are complete myths. And these relate to both your personal life living in Dubai, as well as setting up tax residency here in Dubai, because there are a lot of myths about both of these things. So the first myth is that you need to be rich to live in Dubai. Let's first of all understand that rich is always subjective. Like $5,000 might be a lot of money for someone who is not used to that, but $5 million might not be a lot of money to someone who is very used to that. So it's always subjective to what you're used to, like what perhaps your family is used to, like things like this. So it's always absolutely subjective. So yes, of course, if you're coming from Pakistan, then Dubai is going to seem like a very expensive city. But if we just look at this from a Western perspective, because I'm from the West, I assume most of the people watching this are from the West, if you compare Dubai to any of the major Western cities that you might be used to, like New York, London, Toronto, Paris, like you can look at these statistics, you can look at the actual numbers and you will see that Dubai is much cheaper than London. Dubai is cheaper than New York. Well, everywhere is cheaper than New York, I guess. But Dubai is cheaper than Toronto. Dubai is the kind of place that advertises the luxury a lot. They want to build this image as this luxurious tourist destination. But most people, most of the time, just live absolutely normal lives. And you can get rent in normal apartments that's still probably better quality than you're getting in like London or something like that for much cheaper than you can in most of these cities. Groceries are going to be roughly the same price as in any other Western standard destination that you can imagine. Restaurants are going to be very similar price. Obviously, everything is going to depend on the quality and things like that. But I always feel like I can get a lot more for my money here than I was able to in London, which is where I came from. And of course, when you combine this with the fact that here you have 0% income tax, you can come here and instantly like pretty much double your net income if you're coming from a high tax Western country and you're making a decent amount of money. So you're probably gonna feel a lot richer. I certainly felt a lot richer when I came here simply because I wasn't needing to set aside money for taxes every single month. But there are also myths related to the tax thing here. So let's talk about that next. So myth number two is that you can have a 0% tax company in Dubai without actually living here. So the thing about the Dubai business setup industry is that there's a lot of absolute misinformation out there about this in both kinds of ways. There's people saying like, oh, it's no longer zero tax because now they have a 9% corporate tax. But the reality of that is that most people don't even have to pay that because if you make less than around $800,000 a year, you can apply for what's called the small business relief, which means you still have a completely 0% tax setup. But on the other hand, there's a lot of people saying like, oh, you could just set up a business in Dubai and then keep living in France or wherever you live. And because Dubai has 0% tax, that means you don't have to pay tax anywhere. Problem solved. So can you do that? Well, unfortunately, no, that is not how it works. So to understand why this doesn't work and while trying to do this will absolutely get you into trouble, we need to understand about a concept called corporate residency. So corporate residency means essentially, where does the company live. So you can think that in terms of your personal residency, your personal residency is where you personally live. And that is separate from where you were born, you could have been born in Finland, like I was, but you can be resident. So you can be living in a different place like the UAE. The same way a company can be born, so it can be registered in one place, like you can register a company in the UAE, but if the company lives, so if the company basically operates or is managed and controlled from a different place, like France, for example, that company is still going to be tax resident in France. And there's no way you can get around this. Now, if you have a very complicated business, now there are cases where you can like claim that yes, this company is actually being operated from the UAE or wherever, if you actually genuinely have like an operator that actually manages the company from there. But in most cases for people like me, or perhaps like you, where you have a relatively simple online business where you're just running yourself and you're the main operator of the company, 
your company is always going to be resident wherever you live. So it doesn't matter if your company is registered in a zero tax jurisdiction or 9% jurisdiction like Dubai, if you don't live there. So yes, you can still pay 0% tax in Dubai. I personally pay zero tax in Dubai completely legally, but it does require you to live in Dubai for a minimum of three months of the year. And it also requires you to not live for too long in any other country. So if you stay for more than six months in France, even if you also stay for three months in Dubai, France is still gonna be, hello sir, your company is still tax resident in France, you still have to pay us tax. And this is something you must do properly. I cannot stress how important it is. If you do need help with this and you wanna make sure you do everything correctly, both in terms of the country where you're living and in terms of setting up in Dubai, setting up your business correctly, getting your visas correctly, making sure everything is handled properly. I can hook you up with my business setup expert that I personally use right now. I partnered with them because I was struggling with a situation where you have a bunch of agencies that just give completely wrong advice. And then on the other side, you have agencies that might give a good advice, but they charge way too much for their services. So the guys that I have partnered up with charge very reasonable prices and they absolutely know what they're talking about. And if you use my link down below, you can get a free 45 minute consultation with them where they can walk you through the entire process of becoming non-resident in your country, doing everything properly here and what the entire process entails. So you can check that out from the link down below in the description. So the next myth is that Dubai is very strict. And I, to be fair, I don't feel like nearly as many people believe this anymore. And obviously Dubai has been changing a lot. Maybe it was strict like five, 10 years ago, but there are still people who are coming to visit me who will ask me like, oh, es like, especially as a woman, like, can I do this? Like, are women allowed to drive in Dubai? Like all these kind of things. And like, if you're coming from the West and you're a Western expert, way it works here is that if you're a local Emirati, they follow their own traditions, their own customs, but if you are here as a non-Emirati, you're here as a Western expat, and you just mind your own business, they don't really care. Like you can live whatever life that you want. It's sort of these multiple cultures that are coexisting here and everyone respects each other. You can live whatever life you want, they can live whatever life they want. But the nuance to this is that, yes, you do have to be respectful in Dubai. It is the kind of place where crime is not tolerated. Do not go out stealing. Do not go out being rowdy in public. Do not go and bother the locals. Just respect everyone around you, respect other people, and you will be absolutely fine. So to me, it's sort of strict in the right places. It has laws against crime that it enforces that I'm absolutely all for. But other than that, if you're just respectful towards other people, you can live exactly how you want. So myth number four is that everyone in Dubai lives a flashy Instagram lifestyle. Now look, the thing here is that obviously, if you look on Instagram, on like Dubai life, or you're looking online for the kinds of lives that people live in Dubai. Now, of course, that is gonna be a self-selected group of people who live those flashy lifestyles that they wanna show off on social media. And not only that, on social media, you are only seeing the highlights of people's life. Like for example, on my Instagram, which by the way, you can follow right there, I'm not showing the 90% of my day where I'm just sitting on this desk and coding up some project or editing a video for this channel or something like that. I'm showing the 10 or 5% of highlights when I'm actually doing something interesting. So the point here is that a lot of people have this idea of Dubai, like whether for good or for bad, that you can go there and just live this glitz and glam lifestyle or that everyone who lives in Dubai is just living this crazy lifestyle and not living normal lives. And that is completely inaccurate. Most people here, most of the time, live completely normal lives just as they do anywhere else. It's just that you don't see that on social media. Of course, there also are a bunch of annoying influencer bros like myself, but most people are not like me. Most people work normal jobs, do normal things, they eat, they spend time with their family. That's a great thing about Dubai. You can live your normal life as you would anywhere else. And then if you want to have like a half a day holiday or like a one day holiday on Sunday, there's so many amazing, interesting things to do around here. But don't be mistaken that that is the life that you're always going to be living or that that's the life that everyone always lives here that could not be further from the truth. And this also brings us to the last point. Now, people will sometimes, and again, less and less now, Nowadays, but sometimes people will say, oh, but Dubai is super fake. Like everyone there is fake, they're posers, they're just like revving their Lambo engines and whatever. First of all, I never really understood what that, like what does it mean to say that Dubai is fake? Sure, it's 
very new. Like most of Dubai has been built like in the past 15 years. Like when Europeans say like, oh, in Dubai, there's no history. So it's also artificial. It's also man-made. So first of all, every city in the world is man-made. It is some cities were made much earlier and some cities were made much later. Dubai has been made quite recently. So of course it's going to be more modern. If that makes it fake to you, then I guess fair enough. I mean, I guess it's not for you. I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I prefer the modern feel, but that's obviously going to be personal preference. In terms of the people, to me, the people I know in Dubai are the realest, most interesting, most positive people I've met anywhere in the world. Now, maybe I've just found the right people. Maybe I'm just in the right circles. But the thing about the kinds of people who move to Dubai, they have all actively made the choice to be here. So like 90% of the people who are here are a lot more likely to be growth minded, to be positive, to want to be here because they've actively made the choice to come here. And you need to think about the kind of person who actively makes the choice to move to a different country to build a better life for themselves. That is usually going to be a much more positive and a more interesting person to be around. And that is really what I feel about the people here. Again, maybe I'm just in the right circles, but all I can say that I've never felt the fakeness that some people talk about, I guess. Maybe I just haven't really understood what it means. Let me know down below in the comments. Overall, don't just look at social media and sort of believe the social media version that you see. It's the kind of place that a lot of people like to hate because it seems so like rich and like, luxurious. People like to like make all these conspiracy theories and all like that. But I feel like just come here, experience it for yourself. You'll see whether you like it, maybe you don't like it. I don't know. Again, if you want to move to Dubai and this is the kind of place that perhaps is for you, I made this video where I take you through the entire process of exactly how to come here in terms of how to exit your previous country, how to get a visa, how to set up a company. This is a bit of a process and there's quite a few things that you'll need to understand throughout the process. And people have called it the best video on the internet in terms of going through this entire process. I put a lot of time and research into that video. So if you're interested, go watch that video to know exactly how to move to Dubai. With that, I will see you in the next one.